Okay, so I have been trying to get my PlayStation 3 controller working um, as my keyboard and mouse in Daisy Mod, and after working on it all day trying to get it uh, uh, working correctly, um, I swore I would make a video on how to do this so other people don't have to go through the same bullshit I went through. So, I'll show you what you need to download, and I'll provide links and show you some of the things that got me slipped up, and hopefully you'll be playing with your controller, which makes it a lot more uh, fun, and, well, you know, whatever reason you want to use it. So, we will start out with Motion Enjoy. Um, you need to find out what um, your computer is running on and uh, whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit and you will be able to figure that out by sixty four bit operating system control panel system well we'll back up system well it might be a little different um given I have Windows seven and if you have uh Windows XP or whatever um finding out how might be a little different but Google it you know, don't be lazy. Um, you need to download Motion Enjoy, whether 32 bit or 64 bit. I have 64 bit, so they're not much different. Um, getting it going. So I'll just start from scratch. I have a USB hub. Oh, let's plug it in down here, actually. Don't make fun of my mouse pad. Is this yeah. Oops. My microphone is plugged in so we didn't hear it. Jesus! That was my controller falling. There it was. Alright. It's plugged in now. Driver manager, load driver. I'll take a second. Oh. Driver manager, load driver. Oh. P.S. I'm filming this with my iPhone because I downloaded Cam Studio to film my screen and Windows Movie Maker to edit it, and Cam Studio was kind of being shitty. So I just gave up on it and said I'll just film on my iPhone, it's not that long. When you're done, this will come up. Hub number 0003 completed. Um, you might end up getting an error, um, like X2 or something like that, error 2. Um, that means you have 32-bit downloaded when you have a 64-bit system, or 64-bit downloaded when you have a 32-bit system. So once it's in, or once it's all, your drivers are downloaded, uh, you'll go back to profiles, and it might not come up. Right now mine's saying wait for a controller to be connected, so what I'll do is DS3, or Motion Enjoy, runs in your taskbar, so you need to exit it out in there, bring it back up, and it'll be up there. DualShock 3, 6-axis controller. Plus, I guess I should have said this in the beginning, you need to have a DualShock 3 controller for it to work. Um, the original 6-axis controllers that came with the original PlayStations, I guess they don't work, I don't know. All I, I, what I've heard is you need a DualShock 3. Um, 
and I watched a YouTube video on how to do this, and it's so it said select PlayStation 3, and that was my issue with DayZ. Um, my um, analog sticks wouldn't work, so I also read somewhere that if you select um, PlayStation 2, it will work, and so I did, and now my analog sticks work. Another problem that tripped me up is um, I you go to PS3 options and you will look at the input game options and on the D-pad um, these were all mixed up right was down down was right and every other combination you can think of so you adjust them as needed save changes and now my mouse is doing this and I let go of it and it goes down I let go of it and it goes down alright so I'm going to unplug my controller for now plug it back in If your mouse does that, then that's your problem. So what I did was, um, I selected PlayStation 2, <coughs> so I could use my analog sticks and click vibration test. I don't know if you can hear it, but it'll give it a quick vibration when you click it. Um, and that's everything you need to do with Motion Enjoy. Then you need to download XPatter 5.7. And this is my Daisy profile, and I have everything set up already. But when you get it, this is going to be a blank screen. There's not going to be any controller. Um, and you're going to click New, and then you're going to click Open and you're going to download this PS3 controller picture so you have um, kind of a map of where things are going to go and then you're going to go onto the side here click sticks and then click enable and then you can move the thing over and it's like this is the test push it left and it read it, push it up, and then that's all you really need to do. And then you can, whoops, you don't need to put that there, you need to put it on this. That's for the right stick, or the left stick, my fault. Then you enable that one, push it left, push it up. Move it over, because by the end of this you're going to have these things all over the place, whether they're for the buttons or for the sticks. Now need to take a look at these things, um, the axes, um, I'm not even sure if these are correct right now because that was another issue with mine, I'm going to open my daisy one and see what the uh, settings are for it, mm, sticks, yeah. That's what they need to look like. Your right stick is R, Z, and Z, and X and Y. I'm sorry it's blurry, but that's what they are. X and Y for your left, R, Z, and Z for your right. And another issue I had with running it in Daisy is you need to run Motion Enjoy and XPad are as admins. Run as administrator, you right click it, click run as administrator. And then this bull crap will come up. And then it should work in Daisy. Um, post any questions if you have them. Um, also, my analog, my right analog for the mouse is a little squirrely. I'm still working it out, but hopefully um, you might be able to tell me how to fix that. Um, yeah, peace.